Hey everyone, it's me, Adster, or whatever you want to call me, uh, Sonic the Hedgehog. I run two test videos now. First one, my mom came in. Very funny, very comedic. I deleted the video. Second one, camera wasn't positioned properly. So, um, yeah. But you probably, if you're watching this, you probably scrounge the bottom of the barrel looking for Sonic the Hedgehog, let's play, or whatever you want to call it. So you probably, if you're looking for this, you probably know the history of the game. You know, it started off the console wars between SNES and Genesis, blah, blah, blah. Um, Sonic the Hedgehog, popular, 90s, because children... Song flipped you off in the uh, UK magazine. You know the drill. Uh, so I'm not gonna go for the special stages. I usually do, but uh, I can care less about them. Honestly, if you're not going for emeralds, which is basically 100% completion, then you're probably going for continues. But I'm refining this game so very much that uh, you don't really need continues because I basically never get a game over anymore unless I'm goofing around but yeah you jump over the spikes you get in 20 rings and a uh, shield I think um, to count there's uh, a couple of shields in this zone oh crap I missed the extra life and if you're skilled enough you can do some basic running parkour jump on top of the sloop you know the drill. Get an extra life and a couple of rings. You drop down. You get this cool spinny thing. Uh, I think there's a couple shields in this zone. There's um, one in a tree, which I think I nabbed, or was it? No. There's one at the beginning of the stage, which I showed you. There's one in the tree around the middle of the stage. And um, there's another one at the end of the stage. If you go down the falling... Um, this you go down here not gonna go down there because it wastes his time but you go down there and uh gets you a shield and if you do some basic platforming stuff and dodge some enemies you get 10 rings but i um, don't really as a participation reward now in this stage there is a lot of shields like um Tim's messing up there is a lot of shields. So um, I'm going to show you where all they are. Because I'm bored. And then I'll go show you some of the secrets. But yeah. I don't know why. So I'm pretty sure. You go up here. There's a shield. Yep. And then you. Go up on these platforms. Ow. Right? Or was it. No, this gives you the rings. You go up here on these platforms, more rings. Um, and if you do some basic platform and junk, you can, uh, if you don't fall like stupid, like I am, uh, you can go up here, get yourself another shield. But if you don't want a platform, you can do a little run, another shield. And let me go grab the extra life while I'm at it. If I don't overshot it. Uh, but yeah. So that is... Um, one, two... That is like three to four shields so far. But there's more. There's always more. But yeah, that's a secret. You go over there... Uh, there's also speed shoes in that tree, right here. You can see it, the monitor. I'm not going to grab it yet, because I don't want to. I'm going to use it for the uh, spike section. Oh wait, no, you don't know. You could skip it with this secret over here. So, I, I don't know how you, This is probably one of the most popular secrets in this zone. So, if you run and break the wall, wall properly, and go down this S-tube, and do a little uh, basic platforming. You might say, oh, this is the stupid beta boy bad platforming route. But no, it's actually holding a very good secret if you're looking for lives. 
You see here? Don't go on that spring. Jump over the spikes. You score yourself some 50 rings and an extra life. And then you can just kind of run over this waterfall. You can also break through that wall, but come on. Um, there's also a couple of invincibilities in this act. There's the one at the beginning, which you saw, I'm pretty sure, if I can remember correctly. Then there's one at the, um, if you go take the top path. And then there's one over here. I, there's probably more, but I'm not a zone remembering guru. Because I could barely remember if I took the invincibility at the beginning. <laughs> but yeah, you go up here. You go up here. So instead of just following them around, you run a little bit. You see that modder up in that tree? I don't know if you can see it right there. Uh, if you uh, kind of run, do some running action, and get yourself a jump, you kind of just beat the boss. So here's Dr. Eggman. I like him because he's not like other villains where he usually has his pawns doing all the work for him. He's not afraid to get his hands dirty. Uh, if you know where you if you know where I stole that from, then uh we're gonna be friends. But yeah, you beat him, eight hits, easy. You release all the animals, don't know their names, don't care to um remember them. If I even do. Uh the rabbit. I know the rabbit got turned into this character in the British Sonic comics, which Sonic was an absolute asshole. But uh Here's the zone that everybody hops off the game for because it's difficulty and how slow it is. But really, they're exaggerating, guys. Don't let them pull away you away from this classic. Because really, it's not that bad. It's not that bad. Again, I don't know if you can see. It's a little harder to see right here. But they didn't um they didn't fix the skybox. I I don't think I discussed it in the first zone, but in the first zone. I'm pretty sure this zone too, they didn't really properly make the background, so you can see the clouds cutting. Get a shield. But uh, there's there's a, a little unknown secret, and a little sneak peek of it is you hold down. Oh wait, no, never mind, you can't do it. I think you hold down in the, some other versions of the game. You could hold down, and you'll be able to see a room which has holds 40 rings and an extra life and I really get triggered when people don't see use the secret because it's probably one of the best secrets in the zone in this act and it's really easy to get to and once you get to it you'll remember it forever but yeah you got some spikes so everybody hates this zone because of the lava and how you know difficult and how you have to wait on a block when you push it but the lava, I remember when I was a weed lad, I would get stuck at this part because I didn't know how to platform. Uh, but yeah. And it's right here. You see this spike crusher? Don't go over here. Instead, take a ride on the spike crusher. Jump right here. And then you'll be able to go in this room with 40 rings and an extra life. Do the secret, or Sonic will come after you at night time. And remember, don't get crushed by the spy crusher when you're leaving. It happened to me a few times. So here's a couple of... Uh, the, the end of the zone. I don't I don't think they uh, knew how to combine um, backgrounds. Uh, I really wish I was a ROM hacker or something. That's what I'm going to do a little bit when I actually get a proper computer and not a laptop. Uh... You can um you can see how the the labyrinth part, the ruins part, and the outside part could um they kind of merge into each other. So okay, is it properly, and then labyrinth zone. I mean, marvel zone. They're the same zone, guys. Come on now. Oh god, now I fucked up my camera. Hold on. Uh, it's probably not, but yeah, you can see it, how the, um, ruins and the, um, outside parts not really configurated right. Yeah. Uh, people hate this because lava pushing, there's two of these in this zone, and 
I think one of them in the other zone. Watch out. There's a cool thing. You can score yourself 10 rings and a shield if you take this way. And I'm pretty sure you can see it. Watch out for the fire shooters. Um, yeah, you can uh, spin on this. It still pushes it. And don't worry about the lava. The lava is slow. Like, I can, I can, I can walk and it won't even catch up to me. That's how slow it is. Get a couple of rings. It's very slow. You're not going to die from it. I don't know why it's so slow. I guess it's realistic to real lava where that fall, oof, like, goes slow. Very beginner trap right there. You go to grab yourself three rings and you get attacked by some bats. Uh, but yeah. And then you kind of swing on some of these platforms. There's another secret. There's another secret. Watch out for that red spring. I want to kill both of those bad mates, but it's alright. And another shield if you need it. But yeah, I like this part. It's a cool set piece because you kind of um, do that. But I don't know why can people complain because you can just kind of do a little bit of platforming. But here's another secret. You get yourself some 20 rings and an extra life. Look at that life count. It's going to be 100 by the end of this game. Oh, shit. Ow. Fuck. No. No. Ah! Fuck. But yeah. If you know what you're doing, this game is easy. Anyways, you kind of go over here, you kill some bad nicks, you jump, uh, you go over here, get yourself a rings, watch out for the fire, there's going to be another shield coming up, uh, fire, uh, let's see if I can catch the part again. Hold on, right here, hold on. Yep, right here. You can see it right here, more clearly. It's right here. You see it? I don't know if you can see it or not. But there's like a nice little line that's just cutting the clouds. And I'm not focusing. Uh, people say it looks like Mario looking at you, which I can't agree, but it looks like it's Mario Bros. 3 design instead of his Mario World. Because, you know, you could see it if you played Mario Bros. 3 because he has those dashy eyes here's the part that everybody hates if you don't break all the blocks and you know what I'm gonna make you mad I'm not gonna break all the blocks say goodbye to your OCD there's another shield and there's that invincibility which is really cool because you get to skip another pushing block over lava part you just gotta hold left and then instead of doing all this and jumping over blocks you can run and then you can wait here sadly there's no secret at this time um, wait for the crusher, jump over the bad nick, don't get crushed by the spikes. Recording that. <laughs> and bam, you beat Marble Zone Act 2. Sorry if this video is really just not good. It's, it's my first time ever doing this sort of thing. I usually screen report on my phone, but I don't really like doing it because then I can't talk. Uh, sorry if you hear my washer, my dishwasher in the background. My mom wanted me to do the dishes. So, yeah. This video is very ghetto. So, you can go over here, get yourself a ring box, and if you're smart, you continue going down this path. Watch out for the fireballs. This is gonna kind of help you if you're bad at the game. But yeah, you do a little, you go a little, um, do a little crusher platforming, crusher platforming, break bridge, um... But yeah, instead of going down here, there's a little pathway over here. And you can nab yourself a shield. Uh, it's not really that important if you played this game too much like I have. But, I mean, if you want it, you want to be looking like uh, Aura Sonic or whatever. If you want to be looking pimped out, you can get yourself a shield. And I'm pretty sure, yeah, it eliminates. There's usually a caterpillar here, but sometime it eliminates him. And you don't have to deal with the caterpillar. Um, here's really the only mandatory pushing block part in this entire zone. Because in the second zone, you can platform. It's really short. Um, and the other one, you can just jump over the blocks like I did. Um, but yeah, here's the only one. If you don't... Uh, here's a cool thing. Instead of platforming and waiting for that block, you can just wait for the other second lava 
waterfall shoot thingamajig and you can um and you can just ride that and skip having to wait for a second and here's another secret that you're gonna want to know so it skips like the whole half of the zone see these you ride this crusher right there's a secret wall in here you have yourself an extra life and you skip half of this zone which is a godsend for speedrunners if you're not clipping through the stage that is watch out for the spikes uh here's the only part where the spike glitch got me uh but yeah it's right here the spike staircase there's also a really really freaking funny part that reminds me of um lion king where the guy he knocks off the thing and i'm not going to show it to you because i really don't want to waste time because i yeah there's spikes if you jump too far it's going to knock you off all the way on the edge and you're going to have to platform all the way up here again and uh yeah in the zone pretty easy no invincibility this time uh smack him a few times watch him sit fire out of his ass move on with your life uh, after you beat hit this guy up he'll go into spring yard zone the precursor to the casino and carnival zone which you probably knew because you searched the internet for this video with like three views but yeah uh, I think I know this world character her name is like Sally Acorn only because I know because if she was integrated in the cartoons and comics and Ken Penders. I don't really know all the comic controversy. I just kind of play the games. But yeah, here's a Starlight Zone past. That's what I like to call it. Because, you know, you got the fake construction. It's metallic. Uh, but if you're smart, you take that spring, you ride up, and you nab yourself an extra life and a pair of speed shoes. Keep these and utilize these because there's another cool part where you can kind of just skip the whole half of the zone. You take this red spring, you run, and yeah, there you go. I hate that guy. His hitbox is so inconsistent. But if you're cool, you can uh, do a little slope things, but I don't really care. Um, instead of taking the, the slow moving blocks, you can go down there, give yourself 10 rings, and skip that part. And bam, you beat the stage in 40 seconds, or 53 seconds, if not, you're not good at it. Dun, 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 dun. This own, um, there's this guy named T. Lopes, he's really cool, he made the Sonic Mania soundtrack. Uh, very awesome guy, listen to his music. He um, kind of remade all the um, songs from Sonic 1, like all the zones, and this one, this one has to be one of my favorites, Starlight Zone and this one, because Starlight Zone, it's jazz, they're both jazz, like, and it's really cool. But uh, yeah, check out T. Lopes, uh, he's a really cool guy, and uh, here's another cool thing, you go down here, but check out his uh, Starlight Zone and... Uh, spring yard zone editions because they're really awesome but anyways you go down here in the original mobile port you can soft lock yourself but in this one you kind of just bounce so fast that you can just kind of flip through the springs which is funny i guess i don't know but yeah ride the platform and these these are um yeah but if you take the path I'm taking, you don't have to follow a uh, crushing those moving block parts. But if you took the um, bottom path, you are. But if you take the top path with the red spring, you're just gonna have to do some simple platforming. There's another secret here. I'm probably not gonna be able to get it, but it's right here. Uh, if you jump right, yeah, there's it's just a lot of rings up there. And it's the first zone with two signposts. I can't really get it. I, I don't know how people get it. It's really hard for me. Because either I go so fast and I hit the wall. Or I go too slow and don't get in at all. You have to be a master of the A button to, to, to get there. But anyways, here's a cool part. If, um, I don't know. You can uh, do a thing and you can, like, go on the that platform. Gives you an invisibility. I don't really need it, though. 
Uh, here's the first mandatory uh, moving blocks part. Uh, it's not really that bad because it's only like two jumps. And they always place these crab guys. They shoot a projectile that can uh, hit you and you can either uh, get flown to the... Um, you can either get flown to a, a freaking block and get crushed. Oh, I hate this part right here. You can either get flown to a block. Oh my god, stop. You can either, yeah, see these guys, they shoot a projectile. I'll show you. And they will, uh, here's the second part. Uh, I don't think, I don't think these two are mandatory, actually. But yeah, you can, um, kind of do this. This one's not as bad, but yeah, either they, you have zero rings like I have, and they'll shoot their projectile, and you'll get moved to the crushing part. Um, if you go back there, you just get yourself an invincibility, I think. It's nothing really that special. There's usually more enemies, but this thing has something about sprites. Here's a secret that uh, will help you. No, God, if I could actually activate it. There's two ways of doing that. You could do that, or you can just kind of spin and then you'll cling in here but it gives you speed shoes and invincibility and uh if you're not an ape brain you can go faster than that block and you get yourself some rings and a shield at the cost i think of a moving block section oh no oh no 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 and go up here i haven't actually been up here before what's up here oh yeah at the end there's a really funny thing oh Hey, there we go. You learn something new every day. But um, at the end, there's actually a really funny part. So it gives you an invincibility. I'll have to show you it. It's probably... It gives you an invincibility, right? But it's right before the moving block section, which is over a bottomless pit. So if you don't want to die, then you, um, you have to do this. But if you're cool, you can run across them. I don't really want to do it because I just... Yeah, but it's really funny. They give you an invincibility, and you're you're expected to you know do that part <laughs> right before. But it kind of wastes your invincibility. Oh shit! It scared the hell out of me. Kind of wastes your invincibility because um you know you have to do it through that part. So when you get to the boss, you can't really do anything. This guy's a dick. Don't let him destroy the platforms. Mm. Come here, buddy. Despite having 300 IQ, uh, you're not really smart. See you later, chump. And now for the zone that everybody hates. Has some funky music. Labyrinth Soul and the Misfit Packs of a mod of Sonic Mania. Um, <laughs> it's, a, it's a pretty good song. Let's listen to it. And the pig that you... <laughs> the, the pig and the chicken... The chicken has some really big controversy. Ugh, because his name was, uh, Cluck Cucky. <laughs> and America was like, oh, no, 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 you can't have that. But anyways, I'm going to show you the secret that I mentioned, I think. I don't know, because I made two of these videos now. Uh, yeah, the water physics, it's not really that bad. First, a couple of times through, you're going to be dreading the zone. But really, here's a simple rule. If you're new, you want to stop by every water you want to you see these these generate bubbles they give you air in the water you probably knew that because you dig through this you know, your youtube search bar to find this stupid ass video but yeah if you're new you probably just want to wait at every bubble stand uh like if it's your first time here you probably want to wait at every bubble stand you see so you can have air through the zone and this zone this act is actually really forgiving uh this zone this, with the bubbles because they they spam them and i fucked up the secret uh but yeah hold on i'm just gonna die because i just want to show you the secret i don't really care about lives but uh there's a really cool secret that i'm gonna show you if i don't fuck it up like i did this time but yeah uh what was i saying but yeah, if you're new, you want to, if you knew, like, first time playing and you got to this zone, I kind of recommend you, um, either look at a level map to assure, 
uh, how safe you are with the bubbles and what you can do with them. Or you just wait by every bubble stand and, you know, you kind of get a bubble, get air. But if you're watching this video, you probably played this game a million times over, so, yeah. Uh, and yet, if you die, if you uh, don't get enough air, you're going to start drowning, which is not fun. Don't drown, kids. Nobody likes drowning. But yeah, you gotta hit that button, and then you gotta get up here, and then you gotta ride this staircase. So originally there wasn't a platform, right? But you go up here. Hold on, I'm gonna try to not fall off of it like I usually do. You go up here, and you ride a platform, and it kind of just skips, like, the whole level. So you don't have to deal with the water. You're probably not gonna get it on your first times through, because, um, you're stinky baby poo poo. But yeah, and the thing is if you uh, grab every ring in the level so far and before you get at this point uh, you're only gonna have 49 rings at the end but uh, in the second version of the game which I, I think I discussed about um, a kind developer added one singular ring here so you can have 50 rings and uh, so you can get to the special stage but you're probably not going to keep it because that part's going to remove all your rings anyways. But, uh, yeah. I take this short shortcut because I dislike water. And, uh, in the first zone, at the first act, if you take that shortcut, you're not going to be seeing a lot of water. But in the second act, you're going to see a little bit more water than you anticipated. And in the third act, it's all water. Uh, and the boss, the third boss, it's it's kind of like a roll of dice for some people because sometimes some days you can get it and you can be like oh yeah I got it I didn't get hit once blah 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 and some other days you can be like ah oh, crap I'm really shitty at this part and I'm dog poo poo I'm dog water and uh, yeah but uh, it's 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 like a roll of dice and a game of just skill in general like. Um, Nah, I don't trust it. I don't trust it. Give me your rings. I wasted enough time on this. Uh. Ow. Dun, 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 dun. But yeah, uh, stupid. It's funny. You're stupid. You're funny. But the third act, it's 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 a game of chance and skill. It's more of a game of skill, but sometimes it can get you. Can get you in the ball sack if if you're not prepared for it. But uh, new players, that's probably where they get the most game overs, because they can't really, their brain can't process how, uh, how much you have to platform in your platforming game, and you kind of just, oh no, where all my lives go, and I have to start the game over, and that's a really turning off point. Uh, I remember I got chuckled and fuckled with that boss a little bit. Uh, you might want to take that bubble. Because you're gonna have to go through a section with this orbanaut, and there's there's two orbanaut sections, and if you didn't if you're impatient and didn't take the bubble, there you're gonna drown. Like you're gonna drown badly because there's an orbanaut right here. That's what these guys are called. They're called orbanauts. They shoot spikes. Uh, the first section is gonna fuck you over more, but if you don't know how to crouch in the second section then you're going to have a bad time. Uh, and then here's another pe thing that people hate about this zone, is the, uh, this. We have to wait on platforms. It's not really that bad. Uh, if you're good at this game, like if you played this game a few times around, then you're probably going to be able to, um, you're going to be able to, what is it called? You're going to be able to, you're gonna be able to beat this act. Why am I getting my tongue tied? You're gonna be able to beat this act in uh, around a minute 59, maybe a minute 40. Uh, best way to deal with those enemies, because they usually come in uh, bunches. Oh, shit. Uh, here's a shield. You saw the shield. Uh, the best way to deal with those drillbot enemies, the ones that come out of the floor and frick you, if you don't have any, um, any rings, play around with 
uh, best way to deal with those enemies, because they usually come in groups on flat land, or they come as staircase, is just to kind of roll, honestly. If you, if you know how to roll, then those drill bot enemies, they're not really that bad. Oh, here's a shortcut you really want to take in this zone. So instead of uh, panicking, oh crap, I don't want to go down here. Uh, yeah, this is what happens. You get 5, 4, get a countdown. Luckily, the bubbles are generous in this zone. If you, um, if you wait by them, uh, in a scrap rain zone, they're going to give you a bubble uh, after you die, which is funny. Uh, you can also, there's, you can also trigger a glitch here, which is called the Life's Underflow glitch. I don't know how, uh, good it is, but, um, it's a Life Underflow get glitch, so if you wait, because those, uh, spikes will detach from you, um, easily, like, you'll just get off of them after a short time, they'll break, um, you can, they'll, uh, let you, you can have one life, and you'll get a game over, right? But it's really not a game over. It's more of a, you died, and then you'll respawn with, like, 255 lives, which is the max uh, lives for a kilobyte of data, I think it is. I don't know. But, uh, yeah. And here's the part that everybody is having trouble with. So, uh, if you're uh, stuck in the water down there, uh, you can just crouch down at a certain spot, and you'll be able to, um, you'll be able to bring the platforms back down. And luckily, this part is really generous, because just as you saw, the water waits for you. Uh, but yeah. Here's the boss that everybody struggles against. They don't really give you any rings at that section, but, uh, yeah. Anyways, I'm probably not going to talk a lot during this section, because I'm going to focus, like, really hard. But yeah, it's more of a game of skill, really. And if you get hit, you're going to fall all the way down. And I didn't take the checkpoint. So if I die, I got to do the whole zone over again. So wish me luck, guys. It seems like this part, you're never going to drown. So don't worry about drowning here. I said don't worry about drowning here. I said don't worry about drowning here. I said, no! <laughs> ah, fuck it. Da, da, da. But yeah, you see what I mean? It's 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 hard. It's it's bullshit. It's absolute dog shit. Cause uh, you can get hit. If you're not paying attention, you get hit, and you'll get sent all the way down, and then you drown, and then it's gonna be a bad bad day for all of us. And then you're gonna be toxic as the eternal mold uh, plant, and yeah very fun I really love this game guys God damn it. And that's what happens when you drown. Ugh. Luckily, one of the best zones in this game is coming up after this one, so... You probably know it. It's Starlight Zone. You go fast for three seconds, and then you're off to Scrap Rain. Yeah. In Sonic 3, if you know where you're looking, Cybershell tells you this if you watch any of his videos. He's a cool guy, watch his videos. And Sonic 3, if you, um, they'll, 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 they have lives out of the ass. And if you know how to platform a little bit in Sonic 2, they'll, they'll give you continues. Like, they'll, they'll pass out continues in their candy. It's only this game where it's really strict with its lives and its, um, continue system because you can only get continues in the special stage right which I do not know why Sonic 2 Sonic 2's the ways to get the continues is really easy but if you're a new player you're gonna be thinking God because 
uh, if I ever play Sonic 2, I'll, I'll show you. If I ever play Sonic 2, that is. But yeah. You'll be thanking God about how many continues they give you. Uh, I'm gonna get the checkpoint this time. You'll be, you'll be like, ah, oh, hallelujah, Sonic 2, the game of continues. You'll be thinking them, because the Death Egg Robot, I, I, if I ever play Sonic 2, you'll probably see, because I'm probably going to die a lot there. It's, it's, in the Death Egg Robot, it's, if they act like it's a game of skill, like, oh, if, if you know where the spikes are, and you know how to play the game, then you're going to be fine, everything will be alright. And then, you know, you die through the end's time, because the two spikes are absolute dog shit. But, um, yeah. I never really beat the boss. You can actually uh, fuck with Eggman in this section. You can get him to have his ship to start steaming. Thank God, bro. Thank God it didn't bring me. Yeah, it's kind of a game of chance with these. I don't know. It feels like it's a set knockback at this section with these fire shooter balls. Um, they'll really get you. These also count as spikes, which, you know, they make sense, but... If you beat the shit out of Eggman, which is easy in the PAL version, which runs at 50 FPS, you, you'll get him to start steaming at the end, at the end, if you hit him enough times, if you hit him eight times. But i never done that once in my entire life. 36 minutes, not bad. And here's the best zone in the game. Uh, you can get yourself a secret here. There's actually two secrets. So, that wall, it looks obvious. I don't know how you can miss it. Uh, there's, you get yourself 30 rings and a invincibility monitor. And then shortly after, you go through here, you bring this down, right? And then you run a little back, wait for the platform to respawn, get yourself an extra life, because you deserve it. Um, and uh, it's, it's funny, because after this zone is the final zone. Ah, fuck, I always fuck that up. After this is the final zone, so it kind of kicks you in the balls with difficulty. Uh, honestly, they have separate paths for everything, but if if you know what you're doing, you'll stay on the top path. Because that's, it's, it's really, uh, at the top path, it's less platformy and it's more speed-like, like Sonic 2 Chemical Plant. But if you're bad at the game like I am, you'll fuck up and go down to the bottom path where you have to platform and wait for these to fall after you punch them with your fist. But I mean, it's, it's not like there still isn't a sense of speed, because there is a sense of speed, it's just, you know. This game, this zone, it's kind of like a celebratory zone or whatever, because um, it gives you slice and continues out the ass if you know where to look. Like over there, I just missed it, I don't really want to grab it, it gives you an extra life. And they give you rings, like they give you too much rings in this zone. So this is a good place where you can stock up on lives and other junk and just have a good time overall. The this music is great. It's it's alright, you know. My phone's falling. Uh watch out. There's these uh the there's there's two type of Orbanauts in this game. There's the green Orbanauts, which you see they don't throw their walls. And then there's the red Orbanauts, which throw their balls and get really angry at you when you go in the room while they're playing Minecraft. Haha, <laughs> you're so funny. Ugh, god damn it. Uh, this zone also has really kooky collision. Like, you never want to jump on a slope. These fans, they're gonna drag you back. You know. Wait for these bombs. Um, in the top path, yeah, you'll get speed, but you're probably not going to get that much rings. In this zone is the exception, because you can actually, um, there's actually 50 rings. So, if you have, uh, 50, yeah, you see what I mean? See, do you see this shit? You see this shit? This is Sonic CD levels of collision here. And also a wreck spring that shits you all the way back, if you're not careful. And then you have to bring down the platform again, which nobody wants to do. But yeah, you go down here, skip a section, uh, bounce around on these overused gimmicks. 
do a little bit of platforming. There's a, and here's the 50 rings I was communicating to you about. Do a little bit of platforming, a little bit, you know, in that section. Fall all the way down. Oh, and yeah. If you're looking for extra lives, I recommend just fall the way down and then, um, Grab yourself some rings. Uh, after this, uh, it's really kooky with the special stages. I, I guess I should have shown you the special stages if you somehow never seen them. I guess I should have shown you them. But it's, uh, just look up image, really, because you can't get the special stages after this zone for some reason. So, that's funny. Now, if you're a platforming boy, you can go down to the bottom path and get yourself some sweet succulent rewards. Or if you're an actual person, you can go up here and kind of just, uh, I don't know, it's higher. Uh, there's a reward here if you know how to use the spike gimmick. Watch out for the bombs, but, uh, you can, um, kind of, uh, get hit, right? And then you can go claim yourself your invincibility. Which we all know, we love invincibilities. Um, but yeah. Oh, you could. Um, I don't really want to take the, this path. I just want to go on top, really, because I really, I really just like the the mood that this brings right here. The starlights, the stars you see, everything. It's just so cool. And people run, uh, go into a ball at these sections, but really, I feel like just casually Sonic just running even though it is slow because of the speed cap I feel like Sonic just running is better because in a ball it just kind of mutes yeah it does give you speeds but it just kind of mutes what Sonic is here's the interesting set piece you're only gonna see once in this entire game uh, it's it's kind of um you see it, it is cool you get speed and I guess if you're a speed freak it helps, uh, but I, I, I really just like Sonic running in general. In other games, there's no speed cap to talk about, so you can just see him run and see him go. And Sonic CT and Sonic Mania, they have special top speed running sprites, which I really adore, because, yeah. Crap. But yeah, I just feel like running... It's just kind of what Sonic is, because if you, yeah, you curl in a ball, that's the whole gimmick. You curl in a ball, and then you, um, but I feel like just running in the game is just honestly better than just going into a ball. Because, yeah, blah, 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 Aiden, the speed cap, and all this, and all that, and, uh, sure, I guess, but really, I don't know. It just gives you more of an immersive effect. I don't, I don't know what I'm talking about. I just like Sonic running, okay? It's better. But yeah. This boss is easy. All you gotta do is just jump on these. Do a little bit of this. Kick him in the ass a little bit. Get some Marvel Zone nostalgia. With the ass shitting things. You know, beat him up a little bit, show him who's boss, and then you just kind of go on to the hardest zone. The, uh, the last zone of the game, not the hardest zone. And you know what? If I, uh, let's check my recording time and see if I'm still, yeah, I'm still recording. If you, um, here's the thing. Scrap Rain Zone, awesome, cool. Don't run. Don't even try to get speed in this zone. Because speed is not what you want here. It's never what you want in Scrap Rain Zone. I mean, yeah, you want speed, right? But it's when you get have speed, it's usually uh, a bad time. Because then you're going to start running into Sauls. And, uh, oh shit. Ah, fuck. Uh, you're usually going to be running into Sauls and you can get your ass blasted by flames. Also, don't worry about falling down on this part. I recommend you stay on the top, 
I know it's hard. It's really fucking hard to stay on the top. But stay on the top. Just stay on the top. Do whatever you can to just stay up here. Because down below, Robotnik wants your ass dead. Fuck. Uh, they have all the enemies. They have Peppa Pig. But yeah, uh, and that's what happens when you don't remember. So I guess I could showcase what the bottom path is like. It's not really joyful. You got these zapparash thingies in the middle of the checkpoints. You got fire, like I was talking about. You got these over bottomless pits. If you're not careful, you can kill yourself. You got disappearing and appearing platforms. You got yourself some bottomless pit chitters. You got yourself caterpillars. And speed, yeah, it's good. For a couple of sections, you want speed. Yes, I'm going to say that now. You want speed in a couple of sections. But you don't want speed in most of them because uh, you're going to run fire. Here's the, the shittiest part of this zone. Uh, it's that. That's why you never, ever want to take the bottom path. Ever. I really wish I didn't trigger that checkpoint. But yeah, it's just kind of just, just it's not a fun time. This zone's not a fun time. It was never a fun time. Uh, the music is catchy. Yes. Uh, if I my dishwasher wasn't running like a motherfucker, I'll the uh, that would. Yeah, that that's. <laughs> oh, here's the Peppa Pig enemies I was talking about. They shit out balls out of their chest and yeah kill them they release a bird instead of the pig enemy let's see if I would yeah. oh, damn it. Uh, there's a glitch I'll, I'll probably trigger it in the s second act because the third act it doesn't really have a s real signpost so if you yeah dun, dun, dun. Dun, 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 dun. I never got a hand on these uh, ball things, but uh, I know there's a secret with an extra life in this zone, but I usually happen to come across because I cannot stay on the top path because of these. But uh, the gimmick to this part right here is you just want to run. When you're at the top path, just run a little bit, just run a tiny bit up here because then you got these and you got that and you got that and you got those and then just abuse your iframes really. Uh, if you're cool, you can go down there and get the ring, but I just want to get this game finished so my phone doesn't die of storage use. But yeah, just run. Another glitch. Invisible. Cool. Don't you love to see it? Uh, okay, maybe I should take back what I've said about speed, but yeah. If you get speed at some sections, most sections you don't want speed, but in some sections you do. Because in this case, yes, this is yes a speed and a no a speed section. Because if you have a lot of speed, fuck. If you have a lot of speed, then you won't be able, you'll just kind of, you can't get speed there. Anyways, but if you could get speed, like by using a spin dash or some shit, then um, you could uh, just kind of dash through there. But you're never going to get speed unless you're playing the mobile port or the dash revision of the this. Uh, yeah. Uh, I, there's gods in this game. I don't know if the gods, 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 gods. There's gods of this game where they could just beat the entire game without getting hit, which is probably impossible in Sonic 2 due to Metropolis Zone and then uh, all the other bullshit final zones and Oil Ocean and then, oh god, I'm gonna die and then that. And, uh, Rings, get a ring, get a ring, get a shield. But yeah, I, there's there's geniuses. There's if you thought I play this game way too much, then you're in for a treat. Cause there's some absolute Sonic the Hedgehog gurus that can just absolutely beat this game without getting a hit, and it's impossible for me because I lack the intelligence and the game knowledge Ooh. Oh, fuck yeah uh, 
Oh yeah, he here. Never mind. You get the extra life. Just sacrifice your bones to the bone gods, and you can get yourself an extra life. Anyways, yeah, go here. But in advertisements, you probably never see this zone. If you look up commercials, you're either gonna see. Uh, there's only one commercial I can. Oh, whoa. Wow. Oh, watch out! Watch out! Uh, in, in the advertisements, there's only one advertisement I know that shows Marvel Zone, the slow zone. But everything else, in advertisements, you're going to see Green Hill, or you're going to see, um, here's the end of the zone. You're either going to see Green Hill or Starlight Zone. You're never, ever going to see Marvel. Yeah, here you go. Whew. It takes a lot of burden. Another glitch, you can just kind of this void. Now usually uh, your character would just automatically walk just oh and here's the part where Eggman brings you the Labyrinth Zone Act 4. Ha 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 ha. Oh no. Now it here. Here is the shortcut I was talking about. I was communicating to you about. Don't casually ride this platform. Do a nice roll. Don't hit those spikes. And you skip half of the zone this way. There you go. Bam. Keep your rings, please. To the love of God, try to keep your rings. Because this zone, this zone don't play around. Trust me, I know. Don't ever try to get hit. If you see a pit, don't trust it. Because then you're going to have to play the full level. And nobody wants to play the full level. Don't trust that pit. Even though it has rings down there. Trust this pit with the rings. And you skip the whole level. I guess the devs were sympathetic or whatever I don't know they just didn't like this zone or whatever and they just made the whole shortcut but yeah there's no gen post you kind of just spring up there here's the final boss it's easy it's easier than Sonic 2's you just kind of punch him in the face a little bit watch out for this just kind of yeah yeah there you go you win Okay, I don't know how I didn't get hit there, but I didn't. Don't ask. Please. I'm not using not hit packs. Yeah. There's also a glitch here where you can hit him another time than you're supposed to, and then you'll have to hit him another 255 times to kill him, which is physically impossible than the 10 minute time limit. If you're really looking for janky glitches of this game, uh, just look at A plus starts video. Uh, he goes over some of the minor glitches that can do, and then some of the big glitches that you can do, and then like the rest of the half of the video is just about how you can just warp and how where and where you... the warps where um I don't know if I discussed this, but in Marble Zone Act in Act One to in Marble Zone, you can kind of um just there's those moving platforms that you saw, you can uh. In some of the cases, you can go through the floor, and then you can get stuck in a wall. Um, and when you get stuck in a wall, you can tap the opposite direction, and then you can um, skip the whole entire zone. Also, this one, it's really... At the beginning, it's more RNG dependent. If you take a full charge run... If you do a full charge run at the beginning, you're always, I'm pretty sure, you're always going to get him here, those two. And he's gonna, always going to be right here. I figured that out a long time ago. Oh my god, I hate this boss. They brought this back, a boss back in um, Sonic, <laughs> Sonic Mania as the Metallic Madness Act 1 boss. And honestly, Metallic Madness is a bop all the way through. But, uh, yeah. I really wish they went the extra mile and just kind of remixed the song. I'm not stashing. Uh, remix the song. The final boss song. That would have been pretty cool. Oh my god, Eggman, stop! It. Yes. Um, but yeah. You can, uh,. Yeah. It's whatever, who cares? Dun, 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 dun. Uh 
I know all the songs. I can hum all the songs of the classic Sonic area era and except Sonic 3. I think I can hum some songs of Sonic 3, but all the main songs of Sonic 1, 2, CD, and except CD were some of the past and the future and some of the versions. Uh, they're, they're, it's kind of hard to hum or whatever because the special effects. I, I, I can hum most of the songs in the classic Sonic area of the game. Yeah. Oh god, it's not really working, huh? This camera, the camera possession is gonna be shit, and I'm gonna have to delete the video, and it's gonna be all ha 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 ha. And nobody wants to see that. Yes. Alright. If we hit him one more time. Yeah. Oh no, the siren! Alright. Hit him one more time and let him explode off screen. And, uh, wait, hold on. Submit the ring chain. No, I don't want to. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. Here's the ending. So, if you get all the Chaos Emeralds, you get, um, flower, extra flowers at the ending. If you don't get them, this is the bad ending, but it's not really bad. Focus, please. Focus, please. Uh, well, thank you for watching my shitty YouTube video. I hope you guys have a great day. I spent 57, 56 minutes on this stupid video that's probably not going to be uploaded, and it's probably going to get dug back in the, the 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 YouTube archives, the YouTube the YouTube back hole where all the Indian channels lie. So, um, really. Thank you for watching this slog of a video. It was my first actually able to record and talk and communicate video. And I feel like this game was just the most suited for it. But uh, here's another secret. Hold the C button, or in my case, the A button, and he won't be able to jump. He can't jump, so he can't break those bars. So hold the C button... He won't be able to jump. Anyways, uh, have a great day. Remember, if it's not your birthday, then it's not your birthday. And roll around at the speed of sound. And have an amazing, amazing day.